Hello, my name is Stephen Wellman. I'm the editor of Go Parallel, and I'm here with Noah Clemens, technical consulting engineer with Intel. And we're at Intel Developer Forum, and you know what that means? Lots and lots of technical sessions, information, and product releases about parallel software development. Noah, can you tell us a little bit about your session that's coming up this week at IDF? Uh, in particular, I know you're going to talk a little bit about some of the new System Studio updates and features. Mm -hmm. Um, but maybe you can give our audience here a little bit of an advanced sneak peek, or perhaps by the time they're seeing this post peek, of what you're going to be talking about here. Well, if you watched the Intel keynote, or watch these keynotes as, as the week goes by, you'll see that we have many different platforms, and everything's leaning more towards Android. So, of course, we have full support for Windows with, with many, many of our developer tools. But this session is, ex is almost exclusively about if you're targeting an Android device. My team works with extracting performance out of these platforms, you know, the system on a chip, Atom based platforms, all the way from one core Atom, all the way up to, you know, things like embedded Xeon and more high performance embedded workloads. So this session is about how to target Android first and foremost. So this means, are you going to make an application on an existing Intel Android device? Or are you one of our partners that are working with us to create a tablet or phone? So we have a couple different products that I'm going to talk about at the talk. One is System Studio for Android, which is the tool for OEMs and system developers to make a phone or tablet with us. So that is an NDA-only product for the simple reason of we're making a product that is in development. And we also have a tool called Beacon Mountain, which is a collection of everything that you would need in order to make an application on the device. So an easy thing to remember is, if you're making a phone or a tablet, System Studio for Android is where you need to go. If you just want to make an application, we have a tool called Beacon Mountain, which is a collection of all the different most updated tools, um, both um, open source and from in, within Intel from which to develop a cross-platform Android application. So, you know, if you want to develop something that works on both an ARM-based device and an Intel device, and you want to get that out to market, uh, this is a one-stop shop for all of those tools. What are some of the advice you might give a developer looking at this tool set, mm -hmm. and perhaps never developed for multiple mobile platforms, such as Atom and ARM. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some practical tips you might give that developer if they're looking to leverage this tool set? We have these tools inside called um, Haxum Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, which allows you to, go, to think of, if I'm going to make an application that's not only cross-platform, but cross-device. I mean, think of all the different Android devices that are out there. This is a way to simulate the platform that you're working on. So you don't have to actually have the device that you're writing that you're writing an application for. You can simulate any number of devices in any number of configurations. There's also the consideration of: Are you working in heavy graphics? Is this going to be a you know? Is you have a whiz bang GUI, or is this an application that where graphics is going to be the real bottleneck? Graphics performance analyzer is a free tool included in there. Um, and as as far as you know, building and running all your code. You know, there's a full set of ARM tools in there and a full set of Intel tools to where you can have those code bases to run across all those platforms. But I would say that Haxum, Hardware Accelerated Execution Manager, and GPA, Graphics Performance and Analyzer, would be your two biggest concerns of, you know, how are, how is, how are my graphical elements performing? And if I send this to this sort of device with this sort of configuration, what sort of performance am I inspect am I am I uh, expected to get. What are some of the unique challenges uh, in developing for, say, a mobile platform on different processor configurations, et cetera, for application development versus developing for the desktop? Well, I've thought about this because I've, I've been studying this for almost, almost two years now is that with a lot of these platforms, you have a moving target, meaning if it's not power, it's performance. If it's not performance, it's power. So you have to be aware of in many situations, what sort of platform am I dealing with? Am I dealing with single core Atom? Am I working with multi core Atom? Is there a way that I can get an even keel across all those to where, you know, if someone runs this particular application 
on this sort of atom atom based platform and then they run it on some multi core atom based platform you don't want one app that's going to drain your battery power unnecessarily so we have this tool called a VTune Performance Analyzer, which will allow you to gauge both performance and power um, in creating that even keel type application. When does a developer know uh, the best time to, say, leverage multi-core mm -hmm. uh, in an Atom environment versus just writing an application that assumes there's just one core? When, when, when to go multi-core in a mobile environment versus, say, in a desktop environment? Um, if you if you're thinking multi-core, you're thinking about multiple tasks that can run in parallel to solve a problem. You ha one thing I would think I, I would consider is how fast how fast are you executing on one core, and does this workload actually warrant going over to that other core? It's less of trying to figure out when you'd want to go multi-core over one core, and it's more of brushing up on what are the latest advances in programming technology, um, as far as, for example, the Intel compiler, which in the case of Beacon Mountain is freely available as a separate download, to where you can simply recompile with the Intel compiler or use a couple keywords, which we call uh, Silk Plus, which will allow you, for example, if you have a triply nested for loop, you could replace one or some of those fours with a silk for, and it gives you an immediately parallelized application to where you're still coding as if it's serial. And if the cores are available, it will spread that workload across the available cores uh, to solve your problem. All right. Um, and Noah, where can developers go and find these tools? Um, search for Beacon Mountain to get the uh, the Beacon Mountain bits. Um, as far as Intel System Studio, we have Intel. As I said before, Intel System Studio Android is an Android. Well, it's a NDA closed product. But suppose that you're looking for general embedded program programming. If you search for Intel System Studio for Linux, we have a full suite of tools available for people doing general embedded programming. But for those that are interested in the in actual Intel System Studio for Android, if they use the contact link through Intel, through the regular in, Intel System Studio for Linux site, um, they'll be able to contact us and we can give more information about the Intel System Studio for Android bits. Got it. Thank you, Noah Clemens from Intel. This is Stephen Wellman at Go Parallel. We're here at IDF and we'll be back with more videos shortly.